while this is not actually glass, I appreciate the seller being really good about packaging it nicely. About the broken headlight, I got a good deal because of that, partially because of that. And um, look at this thing, it's in very nice shape overall. There's a lot of little things. Um, this is a bummer, this I didn't see in the photos, but it's okay, that's still pretty minor. Here we go. That took a little messing with to get it to straighten out. So now a future project is going to be to steal the grill off of this truck, which is still in fantastic shape. And put it on this truck. So the good grill will come off of here delicately, carefully. Get swapped out with this one. Um, still have one headlight left on this side. But anyway, at some point, um, I'll probably end up restoring this guy. And probably doing a completely different paint job, but we'll have this grill on there and it will make a new set of large, big, round, single headlights. But look at that, that's, that's pretty good between the two of them. This was one of my favorite toys I had as a kid. My dad got it in the US, of course, and mailed it back to Slovakia. The problem was when we left to come to immigrate to the U.S. in 87, it was so big, you know, this, this giant toy that now as an adult, I can't even, I just barely grasp on to the trailer with one hand. You know, it's huge. It's 1 to 16 scale, I guess. Um, I ended up leaving it behind. I left it with a cousin, and I guess it just sort of got mangled and destroyed over the years, and I never heard about it again. But here it is. A perfect replacement once I'm done with messing with this. Not perfect, but this is about the level of banged up mine was, except my headlights were both still on. So it was a very, uh, very delicate with my toys as a kid. I actually might have been missing an antenna or two by the time. I, I know I was missing something by the time we left Slovakia. But in any case, uh, this would be a fun, quick little project.